Hey guys, hey guys, how's your Shield K9? I'm here uh, with Steven, my kennel manager, and we are doing a process called Biosensor with our German Shepherd J Litter. Now, people ask us what we do with our newborn puppies, because I mean, I, it's one of those questions that people have. And I thought that we'd show a little bit of some of the things that we do to prepare these puppies for their lives as a working canine, whether that's in something like police service work or competition dog sport, or even just to be somebody's family guardian, we want to do everything we possibly can to stack the deck in the favor of these dogs having the, the highest level of resilience to stress and adversity that we possibly can. Obviously, the biggest impact for that is genetics, ensuring that these puppies have a you know superior set of genetics that prepare them for you know uh, anything that they may face during their lives in the future. Um, you know, there's a famous saying, and I've said it before on this channel. A German famous German breeder once said, "When your dog faces um, you know difficulty or adversity." He's going to reach back to his ancestors for help. And if he doesn't find anybody there, he's going to be in trouble, right? So we've already done the best we can from the ancestry department, from the genetics department. But what we need to do now is we need to provide the nurture to set the standard for these dogs, to give them the, the, the every edge that we possibly can, whether they're, they're going to be police dogs, sport dogs, or, or family guardians. Um, we're going to do everything we can to prepare these dogs for, for um, you know, to make them as strong as we can possibly make them, to make them um, as brave as we can possibly make them. And, and a lot of that is, is preparation, showing them as much as we can show them. So right now what we're doing is this is a three-day-old litter, and we have just started doing Biosensor. Now, Biosensor is a program that the U.S. military came up with. The idea behind it is that it exposes the puppies to moderate levels of stress by putting them in uncomfortable positions, um, a little bit of temperature stress, and a little bit of tactile stress on their pads, just to um, you know do the just just to kind of start giving them small, moderate doses of stress even as early as three days old. And what it does is, um, I don't know quite how they determined it, but they said that it creates at least a 20% um, you know, improvement in the dog's level of resilience. You know, however it is they measure resilience. Now there's people, they say again, you know, there's a lot of breeders, they say it's nonsense, there's no, it's not true, it's all genetics. Maybe that's the case. But all I know is that we're going to do everything we possibly can to stack the deck in our favor. I've done this with every litter that's come through here. Um, and, you know, I generally um, have had really good success with not having nervous puppies, with not having dogs that have difficulty being handled, um, you know, with, with having dogs that are that are brave and, and, and able to handle stress and come through stress and, and, and come stronger on the other side. So, you know, uh, I really, I really do believe in this and I think it's a good thing to do with, with, uh, newborn dogs. So I'm going to talk a little bit about biosensor, what it is and how we do it. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if it's something that you find interesting, feel free to like this video, subscribe and comment below. Okay. So let's explain this biosensor. So what is that? Is that a male or a female? It is a male. Okay. So the puppy is going to be held for five seconds upright, and then the puppy is going to be held for five seconds on her back. Was it a male? Oh, his back. <laughs> okay. And then another five seconds upside down. And as you can see, you know, this is obviously, uh, you know, a certain level of stress on the puppy. And now the puppy is going to be put on a cold uh, cloth. All right. So a little bit of a temperature shock there. So just a wetted, for us, we just use a paper towel wetted with cold water or with snow. All right. And then the puppy's going to receive tactile stimulation with a blunt, uh, you know, a blunt, but, you know, still a little bit of a tiny sharp, bit of, a bit of a sharp object to the puppy's feet. Obviously, you're extremely careful here. We use a, a, a blunted screw and we just very gently poke the puppy a little bit in the pads. Five seconds again, and that's it. And this process is repeated until the puppies are 16 days old. From days 3 to 16, we do this with all our litters. And again, it's just one of those things that, um, you know, if, 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 it's, if it gives our puppies a little bit of an edge in the working department, we're going to do it. You know, pe some people say, yeah, biosensor doesn't make a difference. You know, there's, there's studies to suggest that it does have some positive impact on a puppy's or dog's resilience to stress later on in life. 
whether or not that's true, we're going to do everything that we can to ensure that these puppies are very well handled from day one and that, you know, if there's if there's an edge that we can give them, we're going to give them that edge. So when they're a little bit older and their 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 eyes and their their ears open up, they're going to be exposed to, you know, moderate levels of of noise stress and visual stress. And, you know, the right now what we're doing is basically uh, tactile stress just by putting the puppy in, in, you know, maybe positions that he or she wouldn't go into naturally and, and by stimulating the puppy's feet and by putting the puppy in, in a, in, in, on uh, something that's, that's colder than the environment that he or she is used to. So, you know, some people are interested in, in what we do with our newborn puppies. We don't just leave them in the box. We, we do handle them regularly, not only for just checking their health, but also to do our best to prepare them for their lives as working canines.